Hello, this is Christina Entrott with Caldwell Banker Realty Corp in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go over using your DocuSign.com account, the electronic signature platform system. In doing so, um, the first thing you'll want to do is go to DocuSign.com and then log in. From here, it will take us to our main DocuSign screen. Now you're going to use the DocuSign.com account when you're sending an, a document that you did not originally create within ZipForms. Because in our ZipForms account we can send directly through DocuSign, anytime we create a document we will want to use it through ZipForms. But in this case, I have a buyer that the, the selling agent is sending me a document to have them sign, so I was not the original creator of the document. To send a document out for signature, all we have to do is from this option here, do start a new envelope. And the first thing I'm going to do is browse from my computer for that document that the other agent had sent me. Once I have the document selected, we'll choose the open button and then the document will be uploaded into my account. Next, you're gonna add your recipients, so who you would like to sign the document. So you'll type in their email address. And how you would like them to sign on the document. Then if you have another client, so if I have two buyers, which I do, I'm going to add both of their email addresses in. And then how I would like them to sign in the recipient name. Then I will choose the Add Signer button so they are both displayed here. Now this is showing with the order number one that my clients will get the document sent at the same time so they'll both be able to view it at the same time, sign it, and once they both have signed, we will all get a completed version of the document. Now if I wanted Christina to sign after Chris did, all I would have to do is change the order to one and two, meaning Chris gets the document first, he signs it, and then Christina gets the document to sign. But I would like both of my clients to get it at the same time, so I'm gonna choose one and one. Then we'll choose this purple next button to go to our document to get ready for tagging. And here is my document that the selling, the seller's agent has sent me. And it already has my seller's signature, or not my seller's, but these seller's signature and date. Now I'm going to want to tag this document for my clients to sign and date. To do so, this is showing me up here that I'm first on my buyer, Christina. So I will choose a tag I want, so we want her to sign it. And then we'll drop it in the place where we would like her to sign. Next, I'm gonna choose the date signed tag and drop it here so she can, after she signs it, she will date it as well. Then to get to my next buyer, Chris, I will choose from this drop down his name and then just like the uh, Christina I will drag his signature tag and date. On this document this is the only place where they have to sign so now I can select the send button. I can choose to preview it but because I can see it right here I know that this is the only place so everything should look good. And then I will choose my send anyway button. Now this is showing that I sent a document today and this was my document. So now if I scroll down here, I can see that it was sent to both of my buyers to sign. So this is how you send a document for electronic signature from DocuSign.com. Thank you.